How do massive stars, 10 times the mass of our sun, die in spectacular stellar explosions known as core collapse supernovae? This is one of the key questions being addressed by the Terrascale Supernova Initiative, funded by DOE's Office of Science, in particular by their SIDAC program. Why is this question being addressed? Core collapse supernovae are the dominant source of elements in the universe, without which life as we know it would not exist. Therefore, understanding how they occur is tantamount to understanding how we came to be in the universe, and consequently, one of the most important unsolved problems in astrophysics. Core collapse supernovae are complex, turbulent, three-dimensional events that will require multi-physics, multi-scale, three-dimensional simulations. These events probe extremes of nature that, relative to our everyday world, are simply unfathomable. Take, for example, the dense matter in the neutron star produced by the supernova, one of the supernova's remnants. One cubic centimeter, the size of a single sugar cube, would weigh as much as the entire human race. And the challenges don't stop there. Three-dimensional core collapse supernova simulations will produce data at the staggering rate of hundreds of terabytes per simulation. For scientific discovery, these data will have to be analyzed and visualized by scientists across the United States. The infrastructure that must be in place to accomplish this, namely the infrastructure for data management, networking, visualization, and enabling the overall scientific process or workflow is daunting. Daunting, but not impossible. Through the SIDAC program, multidisciplinary teams of scientists, mathematicians, and computer scientists have been assembled to tackle these scientific and infrastructure problems and with great success.